Hey Cappy, welcome back guys. I hope you're all doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Capricorn placements in their chart. Just make sure you all flip and switch the roles and just take what resonates and leave what doesn't fit for your situation. Okay, so let's see what's going on guys. Anything you need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box, okay? Um, please be aware of the fake pages, all right? Um, and let's see what's going on with y'all. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, please return. Uh, any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones, we turn it back to the sender. Okay, did I say flip and switch the roles, Capricorn? I don't even know if I say that. But, uh, okay, King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Taurus. If it comes back out, I'll just, you know, it'll just be here. But, can I have Taurus in your chart, Happy. Let's see, what's going on here for Happy? Happy, happy. Okay, temperance. Sagittarius. You could be on the Sagittarius Capricorn cusp. Okay, temperance here. So something here being balanced out, healing, having patience for something, doing things in moderation. Okay. Okay, yeah, the lovers in reverse, Gemini energy. So you could be healing after a breakup, after a disunion. Okay. Um, this could also talk about you healing your trust issues here. That could be something that needs to be healed. Okay, this could be, I feel like you just got out of something, Capricorn, or something like that. Or there's some sort of energetic cord, some sort of soul tie connection that you've severed. So you could be healing, but there could be something else here where you need to take accountability in a situation, or they do. So maybe before you do, I feel like you want to come healed, which is which makes sense, right? I feel like you don't want to come back with some with the same behavior. Okay, I don't know why I'm getting all that. <laughs> okay, that that's that's because the cars ain't even out here yet. I'm just picking up on the energy, or you don't want to get in no new relationship with the same kind of like behavior, where maybe the issue was not taking accountability or just avoiding confrontation like if y'all clash or go go through some sort of argument or disagreement you just ghosting or running off or whatever i feel like something like that is being healed here within you okay yeah the nine of wands some sort of lesson that you've learned some, someone can have a sad moon okay yeah the ten of wands yeah <laughs> something is over i feel like you're fed up with something I feel like somebody is tired of themselves. Somebody is getting on their own nerves because they're guarded. Somebody here is carrying emotional baggage from another connection. Okay, and I feel like they're being guided or you're being guided to move forward. A lot of Sagittarius here. Strong Saggy. Sagittarius Saturn here with the Ten of Wands. So yeah, this Ten of Wands could talk about emotional baggage or um, just thinking back, I guess, on situations where you've been used and abused and taken for granted. This could also talk about lack of fun, lack of spontaneity. Some of you guys are so guarded that you're just not even engaging with other people. Okay, you guys probably need to get out and have some fun. Yeah, travel, six swords, go out, get some air or something. You could be working a lot here. You could be tired, but I feel like you're getting fed up with a particular person or situation. This could be the fact that you're you're clashing or you're you want to balance something out with your lover, but you guys are not seeing eye to eye. OK, and you're getting fed up with this, not being able to talk to them or express yourself or something like that. So you're holding it in. But I feel like the more the longer you hold this in is going to fucking burst. And when it does, it's going to come out the wrong way. OK, so let's see. Yeah, the Four of Pentacles holding on to something. Healing, needing. I mean, healing needed. <laughs> Four is left the timer. Okay, this is you, Kathy. Right here under the temperance. Definitely somebody's on the cusp, for sure. Okay. Um. So the Four of Pentacles is like having control. So you could be learning how to have more self-control. Uh, this could be your finance. Something about your finances being healed, too. you have learning how to like save your money and you know, stop spending so much because you could have a lot of responsibilities with the Ten of Wands. It's like you're doing a lot here, but this is a lesson I feel like from a previous connection. Maybe you're having to learn how to speak up for yourself, set boundaries, something where you, you need to stand up for yourself or fight back. I feel like I feel like this is just a result of a past connection. 
But these, these are the results of your actions here. Not standing up for yourself or taking on more than you can handle or taking on everybody else's shit and not giving them their part. Okay, you get what I'm saying? So that could be the lesson here. What else? Yeah, the moon. Now you're scared or this some this your person. Cancer, Pisces, yeah. This could be a secret that somebody's going through a breakup or a divorce or they're disconnecting from a karmic partner with the lovers in reverse because that's definitely karmic. This could just be, though, like I'm saying, you could have a counterpart or you could have somebody around you that you really want to be with, but uh, you're scared of confrontation or you're hiding another lover. Maybe you're hiding the fact that you made a wrong decision. This could be like, yeah, it's like the moon with the lovers in reverse. This is insecurities. And then on top of the fact that you might not have taken accountability for something is an issue in itself. Or oh, this your person, flip the rolls. Yeah, the devil in reverse, yeah. <laughs> right under the nine of wands, a major lesson has been learned from this. Capricorn, again, strong. Okay, strong Cappy, strong Sagittarius. You got Gemini here, Cancer Pisces. What else? The lesson has been learned, though. Somebody is, <laughs> they like, I'm never going through this again. Yeah, nine of swords. Somebody here, you could be saying 999. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, clean the swords. <clears throat> the magician. <laughs> For some of you, somebody here is manifesting a conversation with you. They got they got questions. They like, what's going on with you? Or you this you. You could have a Libra. You got Libra in your chart, or a Gemini, okay, or something. But you like, I want I want I want answers. Just period. So let's see though. Let's see what this is. <laughs> So somebody here is stressed. Not as soon as someone's stressed, they're nervous. This could be you protecting yourself from somebody that is now like this. Whoever this is that did this to you, you could be going through a healing period with them. I mean, well, yeah, in regards to them and what they did to you here, they could now be struggling with the Ten of Wands because they, they stressed out. Okay, a karmic energy could be, but let's see. Let's see here. What's the temperance? I feel like somebody came with a lot of damn baggage and burdens. And now they're going to have to take that shit and, and do their own cleaning up. They're going to have to fix it themselves. Because I feel like you're not. What's the temperance? What's the temperance here for Cappy? Ace of Swords, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, betrayal that you found out the truth about. Or there's some sort of breakthrough in whatever the situation is. Strong Gemini. Okay, so you're healing from some sort of betrayal here. You've gotten the truth. Things are clear or things are going to be clear for some of you that don't have the answers. Okay, you're going to receive the mental clarity. And I feel like you're going to come out very successful. Ace of, Ace of Swords, a success is a victory. It's, you know what I'm saying? You're able to think clear. It's like now you have a peace of mind or whatever this clarity is, it's going to come in. It's going to bring back balance and restore you. Okay, for sure. Because definitely somebody, they did a lot. What's the lovers in reverse? The three of pentacles in the world. Yeah, there's definitely been a third party. But that cycle, it looks like it's closing out with the world and the three of pentacles. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Capricorn, Mars placement could be significant. So yeah, this cycle has closed out. There's a lesson that's been learned, just for sure. Especially with the nine of wands upright. That is the learning the lessons card when it's upright. <clears throat> Somebody wounded, but they healed. Or they, they, they're they persisting. They're still moving forward. Okay. So yeah, the, the Three of Pentacles talks about studying something, learning. So somebody here is learning more about they've acquired something. They've acquired they they took in the lesson basically. Okay, about these third party energies and whatever else. Some of you guys could be getting a work opportunity online. You could work online. Your work could be going global. You could be meeting like new people, socializing, networking. I'm definitely getting social network, something going on online. You could be traveling, you could be moving. But the Three of Pentacles is somebody that's learned from their mistakes. Once again, a hard worker. They have great work ethic. Okay, so you overcome something. I feel like you feel whole, you feel complete within yourself now that you got out of this damn 
lovers in reverse energy this whatever this karmic situation is i feel like you're you're done with it you learned it you're not going back and <laughs> just period or you're not dealing with people like this ever again what's the nine of wands <laughs> okay damn yeah six of pentacles in reverse taurus moon okay and then we have the three of wands so Somebody uh, somebody was definitely abusing their position of authority with you. Okay, taking your kindness for weakness, just using you. That's just what I'm getting. <laughs> okay, excuse me. This could be them now where they could be waiting on you to respond to them. They're waiting on you to actually give them something because they could be broke. They could not have a job here. Things are really imbalanced. Somebody here can't take care of themselves. They make poor financial decisions. Okay, and I feel like this is you. Three of Wands, you're moving forward. You're growing. You're expanding. You could live at a distance from someone here. Or you could be moving at a distance. <clears throat> but I feel like you're leaving somebody that's trying to make up. They're trying to, like, kiss ass now because they need money. And I feel like you turned your back on them. And that's what they deserve because they're the devil. They're just devil energy in reverse. <clears throat> you're not giving them a dime. Nothing else. You're going ghost. The hermit. Period. You don't want to be bothered with this hoe. So they could be waiting on you to respond. They're like, oh my God, well, I'm doing so much to get you back. And, um, you know, I feel like you don't give a fuck. You're moving on. <laughs> Just period. Just period. You're not giving nothing else to this hoe. Because you know what they about. They like to, like, bribe you with things, too. They probably give you gifts and be like, oh, you know. They do a lot of shit to keep you coming back is what I'm getting maybe makeup sex a lot of like you know buying you something to keep you stuck or to make it seem like it's so meaningful basically a gaslighter this is what i'm getting and a narcissist yeah <clears throat> it's a no for you what's the ten of wands if you wait on this person to get to you anything they're not what's the ten of wands okay yeah the king of swords yep and the ten of King of Swords in reverse with the Ten of Wands upright. So somebody here, Aquarius energy. Somebody is definitely somebody could be on the cusp of Aquarius. Happy Aquarius. 12 22 on the clock, the timer. Somebody is realizing them not being in their authentic self is really burdening them. This is what I'm saying. This person here, they take on other people's shit. I'm getting like people pleaser energy. Staying in these trauma bonding ass connections because they're not speaking their truth. They're not standing up for themselves. This is somebody too, though. For some of you, this could be your person that is getting out of the situation and they've lied to you and the lie is just building and building and building and building and they are getting ready to burst they're tired of holding it in you know king of swords is definitely somebody i mean this could be somebody too that's like scatterbrained and can't think straight or they made a, a very irrational decision because they they did it they didn't make a good decision here and so there's they're carrying it around they need to release it or something the king of swords is either they're the oppressor or they're be, they're being oppressed for some of you this is your child's father here that's been mentally and emotionally abusing you they as this out in the cold they're struggling they got a lot of responsibilities a lot of things weighing them down they burnt out to the wands here twice you guys to be saying 10 10 okay who does king of swords spirit who does king of swords in reverse yeah <laughs> the judgment for some of you there could be some sort of scheme or something going on in a court case here okay for some of you like dirty cops and lawyers and shit like that i don't know i keep getting this energy too where somebody got they got the blame put on them for something that they didn't do but the judgment talks about an awakening it talks about apportioning blame so whoever you know what I'm saying? And fucked up and try to hurt somebody on purpose. They ass, they getting their karma. Just like everybody else in the situation, good or bad. Period. But um this person, for some of you, this is your person. They want your forgiveness. Because I feel like they've told half truths. <clears throat> I feel like they told some truth, but they've told a lot of more of a lie. Okay. So I feel like they want your forgiveness. They're going through some sort of awakening about their decisions that they're making. Okay, this is their karma. <laughs> this is the karmic lesson here with the judgment. Scorpio energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. This person is going through a major change and a major awakening about their decisions. Making impulsive decisions here. Not thinking 
not using their, I guess their logic in the situation or not just think something about them is they haven't been thinking clear. For some of you, I always see the Sagittarius Saturn energy. Sagittarius is a sign of a philosophy and um, higher learning, religion. For some of you, this person, they could have been put under some sort of spell work, okay? And they made the wrong decision based on them being scatterbrained. They thought they was, but that's the illusion. That's the spell work there. So I feel like um, they've been carrying a lot of like, I don't know, it's a lot of spiritual warfare for some of you that's been here. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Yeah, thank you, Spirit. Knight of Swords with the Two of Swords making impulsive moves. Knight of Swords is impulsive. They're very impulsive. They're very um impatient. And I feel like somebody hopped into something not seeing clearly they didn't have all the answers or they just i don't know but they did something off of impulse and, and like acting off of their anxiety knight of swords two of swords that's three of swords so definitely third party something involving a third party this person acting too acted too fast on it and it, it turned into some bullshit here yeah ten of pentacles seven of swords they did something and got themselves caught up for some of you this is something illegal that they got themselves caught up in <clears throat> or they just went towards a third party and thought that that was the right thing but yeah this person has been carrying around a lot of this i don't know if they feel guilty it could be with the nine of swords guilty regret obviously they feel a certain kind of way and they're, an they're anxious about it or they're nervous for some of you though, like i said that's your karmic baby daddy or your baby mama whoever this is they getting karma just period i don't know why i'm picking up that day yeah but there's something that I feel like this is your person they're seeing it or this is you that's seeing something yeah I feel like somebody's being vindicated of something their name is being cleared of something here what's the four of pentacles ten of cups in reverse someone could have a Pisces Mars yeah and the magician Virgo Gemini so yeah right under the ten of swords there was some sort of curse or something like that that somebody is seeing okay this could be <clears throat> to keep someone stuck in this unstable like dysfunctional fight uh, family dynamic with the ten of cups <clears throat> excuse me in reverse somebody too could be going through some sort of like divorce Okay, but there's a rocky relationship here. Somebody got a rocky relationship with their family or their child's mother, child's father. Okay, this shit is very dysfunctional. This household is dysfunctional. This family, somebody is unhappy. They're emotionally unfulfilled. In this family situation or whatever the fuck this is. And so I feel like now they're standing back in their power. So somebody is taking back their power from these, this family or whatever. What's the magician? Yeah, the Five of Pentacles. What's the Magician with the Five of Pentacles? I'm going to have a Taurus Mercury. Yeah, the Eight of Wands. Positive movement forward. A positive shift. So yeah, somebody is now able to manifest because they have clarity. The Magician is mental clarity. Okay, you could be receiving communication about this here. About the fact that they have left somebody out in the cold. Or this is just you moving forward in a positive direction. A lot of sudden positive changes happening for you. You could be actually moving, relocating, but... There is a somebody leaving somebody ass out on the code, just period. Whoever this is that's penny pinching or trying to control somebody for pentacles. <clears throat> Feel like this is your person, or this is you kind of like having like control over yourself, saying no, not letting your guards down for this whoever this karmic is, this karmic family member. What's the ten of cups in reverse? For some of you, somebody is holding in the fact that they've been abused or neglected or there's abuse and neglect in their family. Okay. The Ace of Wands. What's the Ten of Cups in reverse with the Ace of Wands? The Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah, you dropping whoever the fuck. Yeah, Two of Cups. <laughs> you dropping this family situation is definitely bringing in new beginnings. Definitely with your finances. And just you ready to explore, being feeling excited about your life again, finding your purpose, finding your passion in life. <clears throat> yeah, they were definitely a big part of the problem. Okay, and now they're gone. Yeah, two of cups, nine of cups. Yeah. 
So I feel like you're not sharing with these people no more. You're not giving to these people. You're giving to the right person here. Or you just going on about your damn business. Just period. What's the moon? So there's some of y'all could be getting a new home, a new car. This family here could have been all in this shit for money and sex. Money and sex here could have been the thing for whoever this family died, whoever you created this family with. What's the moon? The Queen of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody is, yeah, you want to know, Queen of Swords. <laughs> You want to know, like, I feel like you already know you're very discerning. I, if anything, you probably told this person about this karmic. Yeah, this is the new love, the Ace of Swords. I mean, Ace of Cups. They scared of you here, uh, Queen of Swords. I feel like that's you, Cappy, or whatever. But the lie is, the fact that they've been hiding this damn Queen of Cups here. Okay, for some of you, this is your person just moving silently towards you. But there's something that you already know. Your intuition is on point. That Yeah, you were possibly being juggled at one point or there was another person. But I feel like you're you're being balanced. Something is coming into balance here. You feel it intuitively. You feel it happening because of your person. Y'all have some sort of like strong connection where you can feel things changing in your union possibly. So you feel the disconnect with them and this karmic, which is bringing balance to you and them possibly. And I feel like this now things are just something here is being is silent. Okay, somebody is moving in silence here with the moon. What's the two of pentacles? Someone could have a Capricorn Jupiter. Okay, yeah, the will of fortune and the high priestess. Yeah, you feel it happening. There's changes. Intuitively, you know. You guys are definitely psychic with the moon, the queen of cups, the high priestess, the will of fortune. Yeah. Something is something that's destined is occurring and it's, it's happening. You feel it, you know. <laughs> and you know, something is balancing out two of pentacles. Every time I see the two of pentacles with the rainbow, it's something that connects you and somebody. It's, it's being balanced. Because the energy is transferable. You can feel theirs, they can feel yours. You know what this is, uh, Cappy. And I feel like things are very quiet, okay? There's, there could be a lot of telepathic communication between you two right now. Um, maybe, you know, but I feel like this is to protect this union. The moon is here again, okay? A lot of at night action, like while you're asleep, a lot of things can be going on while you're sleeping. Spirit is working, you know, their, their magic. Your spirit team is working their magic to help, you know, bring you into balance or, you know, bring something back into balance between you and somebody else. But whatever this is, whatever these changes are, are fated. They're destined with the uh, Wheel of Fortune. Some of y'all could definitely be tarot readers. You had a star. <clears throat> oh, damn. I forgot they naked on this card. <laughs> the star Aquarius energy. So, yeah, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. So you have Aquarius in your chart. But some of you guys are up and coming stars. Or you are stars here. You could be astrologers. Okay, you're really good. With, you could be a tarot reader with the High Priestess and the Queen of Cups. Definitely a very pretty person, very beautiful with the Queen of Cups, a psychic, a healer. You know what this is. You know what's coming into balance for you, child. What's the devil in reverse? <laughs> I don't even need to go there because y'all know. Nine of Pentacles, yeah. What's the devil in reverse with the Nine of Pentacles? Yep, the Emperor. Aries energy. So this could be your masculine child. Okay, they've gotten their power back. This person is free. Nine of Pentacles, or this is you. This is them admiring you and the Nine of Pentacles energy. But I'm definitely getting, you know, somebody is free from something. They're free from whatever this toxicity is, and they're now in the Emperor energy. This toxic behavior is over. I feel like they're, this person has always been self-reliant, independent, self-sufficient okay reliable dependable like but i feel like they just was caught up in some shit their anxiety got the best of them or they did something off impulse i don't know everybody has to learn lessons in their own time at their own pace excuse me but yeah i feel like this pers person sees you as very beautiful this person could is could be very handsome themselves. This is an emperor as a man. They could be very handsome. Or this could be you, emperor, as a woman. You could have a successful business here. 
Your business could be flourishing with the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, some of y'all are even getting ready to retire early. Because <clears throat> of all the wealth that you've acclaimed in this lifetime and all the karmic debt that you've cleared, child, especially with the devil in reverse, whatever toxicity is cleared, it's like you're starting clean, you're starting fresh. The karmic debt is cleared. What's the emperor? The Nine of Cups, yeah, wish fulfillment. If this is your wish, it's coming in. It's for sure coming in here. Somebody here could be definitely, they have some sort of status or fame or acclaim, some sort of recognition, Nine of Pentacles with the Nine of Cups. You guys could be saying 999. Somebody is very much so business oriented. Yeah, there's no more toxicity here. So a wish, whatever you're wishing for is, is coming in, is being granted. Some of you guys are wishing for children. Some womb magic could be lifting off of you too. If this is what this magic was to like block your, your, your sacral in some way or something. Nine of cups, nine of pentacles. That's pregnancy, that's conceiving, that's sex here. So some of y'all could be getting ready to have some children for some of you. That's not everybody. Yeah, the high priestess, the queen of cups. I feel like for a lot of you guys, or for some of you, you could be at a childbearing age. You're getting ready to start your family. You know, you're at the age where you're ready. Yeah, six of cups I just saw. Page of swords, page of pentacles. Yeah, some of y'all getting ready to ha like settle down and have kids <clears throat> with someone. Yeah. Because it's time. It's time. So if you've been wishing for a family or something, it's coming in, I feel. Whatever this devil energy is, it's lifting up off of this connection. Just period. What's this nine of swords? The hermit, Virgo energy with the page of wands. Cancer, I mean, uh, Aries, Leo, Sag. So, nine of swords still at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah. I feel like there's good news coming in for you. For some of you, somebody is being investigated. <clears throat> this would be something about children being investigated. Okay, I keep getting that. I got that a lot for Cancer and Aries. I think uh, Aquarius, Libra, I believe. Something about children and A-B-U-S-E or N-E-G-L-E-C-T. I don't want to say it because I don't know if they <laughs> If they're going to block me 27, 27, or they're going to restrict my shit. But I feel like somebody is under investigation. Somebody has found something out or has done some soul searching. Whoever this is, is in introspection right now. They're in solitude because they're nervous. Somebody is like nervous to say something. They are really nervous. What's the hermit? They're the sun. What's the page of wands? be dealing with the leo or this person got leo. yeah two of cups this person is so in love with you they nervous though something make they ass nervous what's the sun with the hermit what is the problem <clears throat> yeah the two of wands a partnership waiting waiting anticipating something so if you're waiting on this person they waiting on you five of swords yeah they want to fix this communication with you there's a lot of miscommunication here they just they don't know how to fix the shit Okay, five of swords is definitely miscommunication. There was some sort of underhanded shit going on here. I feel like this person... <clears throat> they could be making a decision to choose you, but there is like somebody that was around them that's been doing shit to you behind the scenes possibly and you don't know about it or maybe you do. I feel like you already do. Five of Swords is like somebody intimidating somebody, a bully, underhanded behavior. Two of Swords is like a stalemate. Yeah, something, this person's anxiety is keeping them at a stalemate. This is where things are rocky here between you and this person. There's a lot of miscommunication here. And there's, I don't know, I feel like there's a karmic in the background on some fuck shit. Just like they always do. It's nothing new with these hoes. But the Two of Wands does talk about moving forward. It's kind of like talking about planning for the future, but it does talk about waiting for something, anticipating it. All right. It's like it's like somebody has already been exposed, though, with the sun or what they, what they see is causing nervousness a bit. I feel like this is them. They can't sleep. They can't eat. They're in regret. They're in regret about something that they did, about their decision. And I feel like all they need to do is talk about it, literally. This person, they, they do too much. They stay in their head too long, too much. 
it's like, bro, why make this shit so complicated? <laughs> For some of you, someone here could have caught something. Okay, and that's what they're nervous about. They could be, they could have, somebody could have went to the doctor and found out that they had something. It could be an STD. That could be why they, they're like that. With the hermit, that's the doctor. The sun is exposure. So the waiting period could be for them healing from something. I don't know, guys. I don't fucking know. Yeah, already knowing the tea. It's like you already know what's happening. Yeah, investigating. It's like you already know. You are a damn investigator here, Cappy. Damn, I don't know why I shuffled again. <clears throat> but um, let's see. Yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah, okay, thank you, Spirit. Yeah, I'm thinking about this now. Ten of Wands here twice. With the King of Swords in reverse. With the judgment. Mm. <clears throat> child but so we have schedule busy rush time management etc so somebody here busy hooked yeah something sexual here with hooked mm, let's see so yeah they healing from something for some of you this yeah creativity muncher then we have dusted off Steals your ideas, copies your work, duplicates, feeds off you. Yeah, whoever this is that they got into a relationship with or they a relationship with or they got with is a damn happiness hater and they broke and they were stealing your ideas here, Divine Feminine. Some of y'all could be a makeup artist. There could be a certain way that you do something that somebody has been stealing. That's where the betrayal comes in at. And this person here was cheating. They would say, oh, I'm staying out at work later. Oh, I'm going to work today. And they'd be going over somebody else's house to get fucked on. It's just what I'm getting. Yeah, it's some. This is what they're healing from right here. Okay. Well, what else? Somebody has been with your damn copycat. That's what it's giving. Damn, that's a lot. So we have moving. Yeah, moving in reverse. So it came out in reverse. So somebody here, they did go back to somebody. They went back to a karmic ex is what I'm getting. And they moved in with this person possibly or they couldn't move on from something. Somebody here needs to move out of an environment. We have grudge holder, betrayal, deceit, backstab, traitor, not to be trusted. Somebody here was trying to keep this person stuck here in a household. <clears throat> Some sort of contract here that somebody was stuck in. They couldn't, they weren't able to move. I'm getting somebody too could have been going from home to home. They would get back with this hoe and this hoe will put them out whenever they wanted to. <laughs> I'm just getting somebody here's a loser. Or this is you that got with this damn loser again. And I feel like you're not going back no more. Yeah, burning evidence. Marrying for money. Yeah, and then we have fulfilling a fantasy. Yeah, this is all this shit was based on what? Sex. And this is, this is if somebody did catch an SD. <clears throat> excuse me, damn, they don't want me to say that. <clears throat> okay. And somebody did catch a goddamn SCD. That's a lesson for their ass. To stop dealing with these hoes and start running back to cheaters. People that cheat on you, they need to be left the first time they do it. Period. Just period. Yeah. Idol. Loved, respected, admired, idolized, and fan. Already knowing the T. Yeah, you already know what's going on here. That's why you're happy, you're vibrant, you're good. Because you already know. You told this person. It's something you already knew that you told them. They didn't want to listen. What else? And I feel like this person, they don't even like being told that they were wrong about something. They feel like they know everything. Yeah, child, didn't I say somebody was kissing ass right here? The Six of Pentacles in reverse. Kissing ass here. Crush, yeah, in reverse. And then we have Lonely. Yeah, so somebody here is trying to kiss ass. I feel like this is this toxic person. This karmic is trying to make up. Yeah, they're just trying to cock block. <laughs> That's who's trying to like, yeah. Oh, child. Let's see what else. Because <laughs> that's exactly what that Six of Pentacles is in reverse. That's kissing ass. Child sick. I told you. Something. This could be somebody being spiritually sick. 
running away. Yeah, they getting away from somebody. This could be them being mentally sick here. With worst nightmare in reverse. If somebody's getting away from their worst nightmare, <laughs> they're getting away from this person. They don't trust them any longer, anymore. What's sick here? <clears throat> person could be purging a lot of like if this was a lot of spell work or something like that it could be what's what's sick same shit different day what's sick here with same shit different day groupie yeah groupie <laughs> a groupie what else for sick and hater yeah this person is a fucking hater they they leaving this house what's running away <laughs> <laughs> what is running away yeah kick to the curb <laughs> kick to the curb yeah born to shine man these readers be so fucking funny <laughs> they really do kick to the curb born to shine period somebody stepping into their power they're like uh-uh bitch <laughs> just period somebody is like no what else spirit somebody Somebody seen something about this karmic that's just like, absolutely not. Yeah, outdated, expired, disused, old news, discarded, happiness hater in reverse. So yeah, somebody has gotten rid of the happiness hater. Or somebody could be realizing that you are not a happiness hater. You want this person to grow and build and be happy, even if you're not with them. They seeing the difference between this shit, this shit and then love here. What's real love? Yeah, confused. And then we have caught up. Finding evidence, getting caught, cheating. Yeah. This person, they like, what? Child, what, what else here? Coming in after you. Yeah, they coming. Something about their behavior changed too. I feel like they had, did a whole 180. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. We have movie date. Standing your ground, ready for battle, defending yourself. And then we have divorce in reverse, breaking contract. So there's a contract that's not being broken. There's a divorce. I feel like this this is talking about you right here, Divine Feminine over the High Priestess, Queen of Cups. This is a spiritual contract that's not over. It's not ending <laughs> with this breaking contract in reverse. They're fighting for this connection. I feel like they're going to try to take you out. They want to take you out to, on a movie date or something like that. Get back in your good graces. I don't know. But they definitely fighting for this connection, though. Just period. Just period. And something ain't over with this in reverse. For some of you, yeah, what's this divorce in reverse, breaking contract? Riding it out. Yeah, yeah, riding it out. <laughs> Fuck. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, this is something that you, I guess you've been... Dealing with for a long time here, Capricorn is damn your person in this damn karmic energy here. But you already know. You already know what's going on here. You already know what this is. So I feel like you ain't really been putting too much emphasis on it. It's just because you just take what spirit is trying to show you, especially if you're twins here. And you're moving forward. Just period. Yeah. Else? you have uninterested yeah sexual protection child i'm telling you this is leaning towards what i said about an std or something <laughs> this could be a sexually transmitted demon this don't even have to be std but this person they were definitely their energy was being siphoned <clears throat> dealing with this damn karmic here this person is learning how to wrap it up because they see how powerful their energy is. You keep having sex with these people unprotected. You could definitely catch an STD as well as create soul ties with the wrong hoe. And then it's like you sitting up here giving money to broke hoes. They're manifesting off your sexual energy, just taking everything from you, draining you. Yeah, somebody here needs help. And someone, someone is saying that they're uninterested. It says don't want to hear it and chasing. So somebody is chasing after somebody for some money. And I feel like, wow, this person is getting ready to chase you because they want to be back with you. Your person is what it's giving. Child, let's see. <laughs> what else? Yeah, moving on. Thank you, next. Toxic in reverse. So that's good. Somebody could be like, stop drinking. Okay, yeah. And then we have shine. Your light irritates their toxic demons. Yeah. 
Yeah, bottom of the deck is bad choices, running and fed up. Child, N-E-G-L-E-C-T is here. So somebody here, somebody is not taking care of their kids. Whoever these ratchet ass hoes is that y'all be dealing with, I'm so glad they're getting kicked to the curb. Somebody does not take care of their kids. So it's bad choices, running and fed up. Yeah, I feel like this is where they're getting tired at. This person needs to take accountability. They need to take accountability here for their, their bad choices that they made. They keep running. They're trying to avoid having a conversation about this or they keep trying to just run around it, but it's building up. It's getting to the point where they can't take it. So eventually they're going to speak up. It's going to come out just period because they're getting tired. They can't hold back no more. <laughs> just period, you know. Who oh, child? <clears throat> so... This person is scared that you, you're moving on or something like that. They need to speak up then, shit. I mean, why the fuck they, they getting on my nerves, your person, Capricorn. But this was your reading, though. I hope that this resonated. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notification bell on. Press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings for when I post. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.